hey guys hope you are doing good so this video is specially for every student so there are certain things uh, which every student should know of and should follow during their college days so i believe uh, all the students who are from premium tier 1 colleges would almost have idea about these things and would be following uh, these as well but the thing is in other colleges there is no focus either from college management and nor from the students to uh, any of the things i'll be talking about so in btech uh, we we have four years and if you are doing mca Three years, and believe me, these uh, these number of years are way too much to polish the skills of anyone who has taken admission to really learn, and not just for the sake of getting a degree. So in this video, uh, I'll talk about the things which you sh you should be aware of. So before I move ahead, uh, I want to tell you that um, there will be detailed live session on all these topics. I'll I'll be telling you, and uh, they will be starting from this Sunday itself, that is 21st June. So you need to watch this video till very end. to know about uh, all these topics and know how to register for these sessions so also these sessions will be taken by someone who is an active contributor in open source and has done multiple internships and uh, also been mentor in google summer of code and google code in so stay tuned and watch this video till very end uh, i promise this is really going to be helpful for you so uh, so the first topic is open source so uh, i myself belong to a tier 3 college and hence during my college days i was not aware of uh open source contribution so i feel if i had given uh, if i had known this during my college days i could have spent a lot more time on it and uh, uh, that would have given me really a great start to the to the development in my college days itself so i feel uh, every student should know what is open source and how uh, one can contribute to open source development and basically what are what all is required like how to get started tools uh, and setups which are required and basically how to break uh, basically break the loop and contribute so so uh everything related to it and also how to crack google summer of code so that's like a trending thing so you should be aware of like how you can crack google summer of code and basically uh you should be know you should know about the more uh, free and open source software so basically in this session will be uh, basically decrypting all the myths about open source so uh, so we'll discuss everything i mentioned and a lot more in the first session so uh, this is the like agenda for the first session which is being scheduled for sunday uh, and i'll sh and i'll share the uh, details on how you can register in the later part of the video so stay tuned so next uh, uh, next i feel uh, the topic which uh, you should uh, know about is internships so i feel that internships uh, are very important part of college life so it makes a huge difference believe me huge difference to your profile and to your skills if you get a chance to do internship at a good pro, uh, good company so so and uh, and i've seen that most of the students from uh, lower grade college like tier 2 or tier 3 and even lower than that don't know much about it they don't know how should they prepare for it or where, where how should they apply for it and they don't even know that uh, that uh, such a thing like that the big companies Uh, are hiring for product uh, for basically internships so so don't don't know about this so, and uh, and the and the the students from premium colleges like iits and iits and dc uh, nsits so they they are well versed with it because the their management tells them all the things and also their seniors are there to guide them so so uh, you would see almost all of them would be doing a good internship in the third year so so this is where the students from tier 3 lack so you say uh, you would you would have seen post that uh, why tier 3 student cannot uh, get a good comp good uh, job in a company so this is like this these are things you are lacking at so you should uh, you should fill those gaps so in this session uh, we will discuss we'll focus on internships different ways to apply and basically how to prepare for internships and and a lot more believe me a lot more about internships so this was the second topic uh, next i uh, next i feel is uh, basically students should know about hackathons so so basically uh, hackathons are really really very important and plays a very great plays a uh, vital role so and most of you like just ignore it you are you're not even participating or you don't have much idea i don't know what but you're just ignoring it so basically uh, i uh, i really feel that hackathons are great in terms of working in a fun way so basically it's a working in a fun way to turn your ideas into real applications so you, uh, in in a, in a shorter time so you would meet professional mentors recruiters and you would get a chance to interact with them and basically you will also meet different teams dif from different cities different countries and see how they are working you would definitely come out uh, learning a lot and building a lot of connections so believe me uh, these uh, these connections will really uh, can really help you in future and at the same time the learning you would get from the uh, hackathon would, uh, would be very great and for you so so in this third session we'll talk everything related to hackathons and basically 
uh, starting from the basic like how, how to participate what are the resources you would need and most importantly what should be your winning strategy because uh, you you would not part want to participate just for the sake of learning and just for the sake of gaining experience that's that's great uh, uh, that you would gain experience and you would learn but you would also want to win so so we'll talk uh, in detail what should be your winning strategy so so this was the uh, agenda of our third session and then next uh, next session will be focused on product management so so i've seen uh, most of the students uh, are more oriented towards development software development stuff so they don't uh, either know about it or do, don't have inclination towards product management so in this session will uh, you will learn like what is product management what are the intricacies and role of a product manager and basically uh, each and everything related to this profile so so we'll go deep into this and and maybe uh, maybe after uh, seeing the session you would you would get to know that yes you have interest in this profile more than the sd profile and you would want to get job in such a profile so it's it's very beneficial to know what are the different options uh, an engineer or uh, have after the um, uh, after the college it's not just the sd it, we, we, you have multiple options like you have sre options you have system engineer roles so and you have qa roles so you should you should be following the role which uh, which in which you are more interested and you love that uh, so basically that uh, the job becomes uh, does not becomes a pain for you and you are basically enjoying the job so that's how this fourth session will help you and basically uh, now the most important part for which you all would be waiting till now so it's uh, so basically how you should uh, how you should uh, how you can register for these sessions so first is you should uh, basically connect with me on linkedin the my linkedin profile description my linkedin profile link is given in the description because uh, and also you should follow me on instagram so basically it does not you it you won't be paid you won't be charged for it to follow me on instagram but if you follow me that that can be a help for me to basically uh, reach more uh, more and more students so this that's how you can basically return the favor which uh, if you feel that uh, you can do that so basically you can follow me on linkedin and instagram so that uh, you can get the uh, schedule of all these sessions because i'll be posting the schedule of all these sessions uh, on my linkedin and my instagram ac account both at the same time okay next is uh, uh, basically one more request i have is so uh, you sh uh, you should uh, you should follow my new channel so basically that's my that's more of my personal channel and why i'm creating the, that channel uh, other than this one because uh, i can't come live on this channel daily or i can't share my personal opinion or more of my uh, journey and more of my stuff regularly on this channel because this channel i've kept focused on basically interview preparation and sort of things and i need to keep 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 it that way only so what i am thinking of is uh, i've created a new channel wherein uh, i'll be coming live more often and i'll be uh, creating more videos more often and that would that would be generic so that would help you grow as an individual uh, in all directions so my video will be related to uh, learnings i would be having uh, on a daily basis so if i'll get to learn a new thing today so i'll i'll just keep uh, create a video of sh uh, shorter length like a minute or so and then post it so i'll be sharing my experiences and sort of things on that channel so it would be great if you can uh, help me and subscribe to that channel uh, i think that's not a big deal for you because i am uh, i'm also doing a lot of things for you like uh, i'm taking out time from my work i am creating videos for you i'm i'm helping you interact with people who are working in good product based company so that they can share your, their experience and uh, placement strategies so that's a small thing i'm asking in uh, return so i think you can do that so please subscribe to my channel link is in the description and the uh, the last thing is uh, you need to fill the google form link the same uh, the link is in the description that this filling this google form will help me basically plan my sessions effectively so i'm looking forward so there there might be a case that if i get a good response or some other response i might not be taking this sessions on youtube or i might take those sessions on a google meet or something some other platform so that's why uh, what i'm doing is i'm creating this google form so that i know the list of people who are interested in this session and i should be sending a link to those so you will be getting a link so all those who will be filling this form google form will be getting a link to all these sessions with the schedule so you should fill the form and lastly uh, i'm looking forward to seeing you all in those all these sessions and i hope these sessions will be really helpful for you all the best keep learning thank you